Hey guys, and welcome to a very special episode of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, where a couple of years ago, Robin and I did 365 days of 365 days around New Zealand. But in this episode, we're actually leaving New Zealand to go to the Republic of Whangamamona. So at the end of this video, we'll go through all the questions that we received on the first release of this video um, and as answering some of your questions about this interesting part of New Zealand. So see you at the end of the video. So we are outside the Pangamamona post office and like in many rural area, the post office only open one day a week. So local get their mail through this box right here. Easy peasy, right? We are in the Republic of Pangamamona and we need to get our passport stamped. And we're going to get them stamped here at the Pangamamona Hotel. How long was the flight to the Republic of Fangamamona, Oh, it was um, approximately half a millisecond. <laughs> you have to be in charge of your own passport or else they won't Ooh. let you in. <laughs> All right, so we are now in the pub where the whole republic was formed. Sir, can we please get our passport stamp? You can indeed. You can indeed. Two dollars each. Two dollars for Laura. Yeah, and two dollars for me. Yeah. yeah. And you open it where you would like it, Steve. Lovely. Yes. Oh, so I'm not a custom taker. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. On the museum. Yeah. Uh, next to the museum. Yeah. Yeah. What have you got? Well, it doesn't worry me. Okay. Close up for you. I can bring it to you. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to get a brand new page for this one. Look at that. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Perfect ink as well. Look at that. It is gorgeous. <laughs> I am now officially accepted in the Republic of Fangamomona. So we have a, have a few drinks with Richard, who's like a really cool guy and he's really like easy to talk to and chatty and he is one of the few residents of the Republic. Um, even Just in this small town alone, I think when all his family are in town, that's 21 people in total, there's like four families within the town. Obviously there's more people in the greater area, but yeah, there's not a lot of people here, but that's really cool and that's the whole essence of the Forgotten World Highway. It's a forgotten world, there's hardly anyone there. If you ever want to escape, go to the Forgotten World. So Fangamamuna has a very interesting history of presidents. At one point, the president of Fangamamuna was a goat. It was actually called Billy the Goat. He reigned over the Republic with an iron trotters, crushing all his dissidents with a but after this tyrant was brought down from power due to early death because a goat doesn't live that long, the seat was overtaken by Richard's wife, which is now the official president of the Fangamomona Republic. I have heard that she's doing a better job than the goat was doing. All this history is on the whole pub walls. The whole walls are scattered in photos from yesteryear and yonder year and before Christ. There's not a single part of the wall which is clear. There's just photos, there's trophies from sheep shearing contests, there's sporting trophies for pool games in the bar, there's community notice boards. For instance, they have like a wild food cook-off in the pub. So you can tell that even like back in the day, they had a, it was a big like community vibe and the fact that they became a republic itself shows like it's all about the community. And now, even today, they are still having their like events and things throughout the town. And it brings the people who are living all along the Forgotten World Highway all together. And for instance, Richard knows the family we stayed with um, the night before, Simon and Sarah. He knows them very well. People come far and wide, and this is their local pub, even if it is a few hundred kilometers down the road. It's incredible how one single man has gathered an 
almost an entire museum done there. So it's really, really, really awesome. Republic of Angamamona, Laura speaking. We have lunch with Richard and one of his staff working there, like one of the pub managers. We have some toasties and fresh fruit, fruit and cheese and it's all very nice and we, we're finding it a bit hard to put ourselves away from like this remote area because we know we're heading into civilization soon when we finish the Forgotten World Highway so we're sitting there and we can't put ourselves away but eventually you know we have to go that's the essence of traveling it's like you have to leave and you don't really want to but you know there's stuff ahead you gotta go and see so we also get ourselves some little long-sleeved teas of um, the Fangamamona Republic Hotel just time to say goodbye to Richard and uh, his uh, wife. Give them a big hug. Thanks them for the lunch. Thank them for the night. It was a blast. Thank everyone. We will be back. But now we're driving out of the Forgotten World Highway. We just have a bad Google Maps say there's about 20 minutes left of the Forgotten World Highway. I don't think that's true. I think it's about an hour and a half, and I think I'm right. We're driving toward New Plymouth, which is on the west coast of New Zealand. It's another great surf spot, and it's hiding behind Mount Taranaki, which is stunning and beautiful and mind-blowing and all the adjectives you can think of. We thought like going through the gorge, through Tangarakau and stuff was amazing, but the rest of the Forgotten World Highway is also like every 10 seconds there's something to look at. And eventually we get these awesome views as the sun sets going down of Mount Taranaki, which is the place we are heading to now, well, sort of near there. And then we arrive in New Plymouth, where we are greeted by the best receptionists at a hostel I've ever met. There were just two border collie dogs, literally on the desk, looking at us in the little cubby hole. We are ready for our Taranaki adventure. Bring it on. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that um, very interesting episode. Uh, yeah, Fangamomona is definitely a really cool place to go check out in the middle of nowhere on the Forgotten World Highway of New Zealand. Um, but we did get um, a question about uh, this this video and Anna Witter asks, no ghosts in the hotel? It looks very hauntable. Well, as you saw in the video, Robin and I were the only ones staying in that hotel for the night. So that in itself was pretty creepy, but we did not see any hotel, uh, sorry, we did not see any ghosts at the hotel during that night. Um, I'm not very good at ghost hunting. I'm not a ghost whisperer. So, you know, I don't really have the skills for finding ghosts. So maybe there was something there that I missed, but yeah, it, it was, it was a, a little bit spooky, but, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a really cool place to stay and a more unique sort of place to stay in New Zealand. So we definitely recommend um, if you are doing um, a road trip on the Forgotten World Highway, definitely stop by um, the Republic of Fungamamona and stay at the, at the hotel there. It's really cool. We also got a question from Paolo G saying, Poor Billy, the greatest president the Republic ever had. So yeah, the Republic did have several interesting presidents throughout its time. Most of them have been animals, but there is one human, um, you know, like it's very progressive. It's a, it's a female uh, president currently as the president of Fangamamona right now. So, you know, that she was the first human, I think. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, unofficial bucket list family. I asked my wife and she's never heard of this place. I do like the video. Yeah, it is a place that a lot of people haven't really heard of. And yeah, it is very much off the tourist trail. So that's probably why a lot of people haven't heard of it. But hey, you, you've heard of it now, so go check it out for yourselves. All right, if you do have any questions um, of your own, make sure to put them in the comments section of this video. You can also ask us a question during our live session, which we do at 8 a.m. New Zealand time every single Sunday, or you can head to nzpocketguide.com where we answer most questions about traveling in New Zealand across our thousands and thousands of articles. All right, that's the end of this episode. Join us next time for more New Zealand's biggest gap year fun. See you then.